Today, per Ed's request, I'll be reviewing and demoing the pipe sense. So yeah, let's get into it. It's uh, basically three pieces. If you don't count the grommets and the heat retention disc, it's three pieces. These two kind of form one. And right in there is where you put your product, that nice bowl. Take this bad boy, put a nice twist on there. Lubricate your grommets. Lubricate your grommets. If you want them to last, lubricate them. He sends you a fantastic little container of Ed's uh, bomb ass butter, and it is bomb ass butter. It it's great. You could use it on any vape that you know needs a little lube on there. It's uh, especially the grommets on the fat cap. Real nice for that too. Anyway, so yeah, um, there's a carb right here. I operate with you know whichever finger you would like, and then here's your intake. Here's where you pull that sweet vapor, and yeah, so I'm gonna just hit it, show you how it works. Always aim for like the center of the hole because if you you're blasting your torch on the side of it all the time, eventually you're gonna get a heat crack and you're gonna have to replace the, the glass and that sucks. Happened to me with my, my runt. You don't you don't want that. So aim for the center. Nice uh, nice hits every time. It's always got that distinct like not woody but almost nutty flavor that wood kind of gives vapor like the the bricks have it too but I think it's a little more apparent in this um, just because you're not sucking through glass you're, you're sucking through wood so I think that really helps kind of give you that flavor I got squat that time. Now while vaporizers like this do have a tad bit of a learning curve due to the fact that you're kind of using fire, unlike the sticky brick, you can't see uh, your vapor, so you kind of got to really go by feel to know if you're kind of riding the line on really high temp vapor and you just get closer and closer to combustion then uh, you really got to pay attention to the throw feel the taste of the vapor and um, just you know pay attention other than that it's, it's ridiculously simple uh, it's probably as simple as something like the you know the sticky brick labs sticky brick or the vac cap. They're all very, very simple. And if you want something that requires very little cleaning and very little, you know, like extra, you know, stuff, this is the one for you. No charging, no constant ISO baths, nothing. It, it's a it's a very simple, simple vape. So yeah, if you have the opportunity to buy one. You totally should. It's a fantastic little piece. Peace out.